Rebuilding relationships with Fluvial System is the challenge that we wanted to address in our work. Under that umbrella, we decided to speak about climate change on one side and, re and human relations with the Fluvial System on the other side. So with these two elements, we try to cover these relationships between human and fluvial systems. My name is Joshua Stein. I've been working on a project called Dissolution Reconstitution, Sediment as Cultural Heritage. For this, I've mostly been interested in looking at the waterways around Biella in northern Italy in the Piemonte and the network of waterways, both artificial and natural, trying to understand how they are connected by sediment that moves through the landscape and that sediment carries with it a certain amount of cultural heritage from minerals contributed by industry, obviously by geology, which I think is the way we normally think about things. But then the project has been trying to understand how there's a version of human geology that plays a part in this larger network as well. I was most attracted to the Starts for Water residency because it seemed to challenge the notion of an artist sitting in a studio by oneself. And I, it seemed to really promote collaboration with specialists and experts outside of art, which was very interesting for me. And, and I think that the network of experts that have been assembled has really proven to be helpful for this project. Um, but that was definitely one of the most interesting aspects of this particular residency. So in terms of trying to find something from the project that can help the way we think about sustainable management of water, I think in some ways one aspect of this project is complicating some intuitive assumptions that we have, which sometimes are true. We have this very intuitive connection that water typically comes out of the mountains, moves into the plains, and that is true, and this project does verify that. At the same time, it is incredibly complicated by hundreds of years of human intervention. And so there's, there's also a very simple truth here, which is that things are more complicated than we initially assume or understand. And the science and the technology in some ways can help understand that complexity. There are some other complexities that are historical that are in terms of jurisdiction and where governmental agencies overlap or don't overlap, share information or don't share information that can make things quite difficult to understand of a larger picture. And I think this project runs into all of those challenges for me in a very interesting way. And I'm excited about tackling those challenges, but I think that the project really points to the fact that to really start to understand the complications that we have produced, nature is complicated enough on its own, but we have also produced an incredible level of complexity in terms of our interaction with nature. And to really understand that, we probably have to significantly change the way that we work as a society in terms of different ways to share information. Yeah.